Today we're flying a a business class from Tokyo to San Francisco. One thing to note is that a a has two different products, so the old one and the new one. In this video, we are going to cover the old product, which is on the Boeing 777-300. Sometimes you have to fly the old product in order to appreciate the new one. One big favor before we dive in is to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like content like this, especially if you want to see the new product in the future. We have about two hours before the business class flight and flying business gives you access to the a a lounge. So there are currently two lounges for a a at Haneda. One of them is closed, so we are at the one that's connected to the first class lounge. The lounge is actually pretty big, plenty of seating, but it is a little packed just because I think there's a lot of night flights going out. The hot food bar, there is Japanese curry, some veggies, and like hamburger meat. I am opting for the noodle bar. So noodle bar, they make the noodles fresh for you. So choose from ramen, udon, soba. The ramen was pretty good for an airport. And next up is the udon. So they give you a nice piece of like fried tempura on top. So this is actually subs and I'm going to take a little taste. I like the ramen more than the udon. Yeah, ramen, the tonkatsu broth is like nice, rich and flavorful. This one, it's like a light udon broth, but then there's like a deep fried chunk of tempura on top. So yeah, just my preference. Let's take a quick cabin tour. So the configuration of the cabin is one, two, one. The seats on the sides are staggered, so I have a window seat and Sebastian has an aisle seat. I personally like the window seat just because I like having a window. Let's do a quick suite tour. Right off the bat, this is a lie flat seat, so this seat does recline into a bed. On the side are the panels to control the seat. You can do recline, upright bed, lumbar support, and tracking. There's also a remote control for the entertainment system. Reading light is here. And on the side, there are additional reclining buttons. There's a document holder along with a cup holder, which I put the bottle of water in, and storage space. Okay, let's see how much leg room there is. There's definitely less leg room compared to Japan Airlines because I can actually put my feet underneath the cubby here, whereas I couldn't really reach it on the JAL flight. Directly in front of me is going to be the entertainment system along with the dining tray, which pulls out. There's also a light switch down there along with a coat hook. Okay, let's go over some of the goodies. Each seat comes with a pillow, blanket, and a really thin mattress topper. The amenities bag has slippers, amenities kit, wet towel before mail service, and headphone. Let's open it up. The headphones are by Sony and they are noise canceling. The amenities kit is by Ettinger. So we have a foldable bag, super useful. We have body lotion from Avita, along with some lip balm. Yeah, no toothbrush or eye mask here. Basically, pack of lotion, lip balm, and a packable bag, and that's it. <laughs> okay, let's check out the menu. So there's a wide range of sake, sochu, champagne, Red wine, white wine, aperitifs and cocktails, whiskeys and spirits, along with beer and alcohol. There's also non-alcoholic drinks. There's the usual orange, apple, tomato juice, cola, teas, and coffees. We're going to look at the menu flying from Japan. A compliment for beverages after takeoff. The Amuse is here and we have the a a signature sticks. So these are kind of like cookies, along with the pastrami chicken, olive, and cheese. For a drink, I chose a a special blend. So this is a mix of rose, jasmine flower, and peppermint. Cheers. It's like drinking a flower. Yeah, it tastes like drinking flowers with honey. 
and tastes exactly like what you'd expect from a deli. Nice smoky flavor on the chicken pastrami. Yeah, nothing too special. So the ANA stick is like a biscuit with peanuts on it. Yeah, pretty good. Something that's a nice snack. So far, the flight's pretty good. So service here is amazing. Staff is super friendly and very attentive. As for a hard product, you can tell that it needs some refreshing, which is obviously why a, a launched their new product. So have some tears in the armrest and you can see that the seat's been through a lot. <laughs> the flight did take off at 11 p.m. So there's not a formal dining service. How it works for this flight is there's a light snack menu that you can order at any time. And then on the right side is going to be the mail service. That's two or three hours before flight landing. So I would say a nighttime flight is good if you plan to sleep all the way through and you don't really care about the meals. It was kind of one of the weird situations where we needed to fly back home for work. So this was like one of the very few flights that were available, but I haven't experienced an overnight flight like this before, so it's just really interesting to compare and contrast the different products. The amenities kit is definitely the most bare bones we've ever seen on a business class flight. I'm really excited to try the ramen because I normally love a pudo, so. Tonkatsu broth is amazing. It does come with a spice packet, which I'm probably not gonna use because I usually can't handle spicy foods. There's also a seaweed packet. Ramen is a solid choice. This is a really large bowl of noodles. I wish that there was like a meat option to add on here. I did get a weird variety of things thinking about it now. Probably shouldn't have gotten two soupy items at the same time, but you know what? It's already done, so let's try the corn soup. Corn soup tastes exactly as you'd expect, like cream of corn. Nice, sweet, and savory. I would say this is also a hit. And lastly, we have rice crackers. These are toasted balls of rice and pretty tasty. Okay, I'm going to wrap up here and then take a nap. Good morning. All right, woke up from the nap, pretty knocked out. So let's see, we have two hours and 10 minutes until landing, just enough time for our breakfast service. Have a cup of coffee because definitely need it. Pretty much slept the whole flight and got a lot of good rest in. Good and refreshed for the rest of the day in San Francisco. For breakfast, I chose a Japanese menu and it looks really good. Here are the selection of morsels. Let's dive in. This one is the marinated sweet shrimp and rice malt with daikon radish and flying fish roe. That one's actually a pretty good wake up call because the fish roe is a little salty. So it's a burst of salt to wake you up. Yuba is like tofu skin, so you can see it hanging and it has kind of like a mushy fish cake consistency. Sweet potato paste. Yep, that was definitely a paste. <laughs> so this taro with sea urchin sauce. A giant piece of taro. A little plain. If you like taro, I guess it's good, but it's basically boiled taro with a little piece of sea urchin on it. Here's a Brussels sprout. Tamago. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm about to find out. That was a seaweed roll. Here's the rice, white rice. The fish isn't bad. There's a yuzu sauce on it, so nice and citrusy. Pretty flaky, not overcooked. Yeah, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna finish the meal before we land and catch up with you guys later. It's a pretty empty business class, so I'm currently in the middle seat just to show it off. So two seats in the middle seat. It's also worth noting that the business class suites do not have privacy doors. But for the most part, middle seats are pretty standard. It's about one hour and 30 minutes until we land in San Francisco. And overall, I think this is a good flight if your goal is to sleep. So based on this experience, I probably wouldn't recommend taking a super late night flight, especially when there's not like a clear time for meals. If I were to do it again, I'd probably take an earlier flight. That way there's more meal services. The product itself is fine, a bit dated, but 
If your only goal is to sleep and get a good night's rest, then it's fine. There are definitely better products to try, especially if you are flying from Tokyo to the US. Given all of that though, this soft product is amazing. So service was great. I'm glad a a updated their product and I can't wait to try the new one out next time. If you made this far in the video, leave a sleepy emoji in the comments below and I'll try to heart and respond to it. My question to you is where are your thoughts on a a old product and what do you usually like to fly internationally? Let me and the community know down in the comments below. See you in the next one.